God is up there somewhere keeping notes on all of us. Now, I don't believe that there's somebody sitting in the sky with his feet propped up on top of the world called God. I believe that God is the presence of good that is within each individual person, whether he knows it or not. The presence of God, the presence of all good, the potential of good is within each individual and not in the sky somewhere. I usually say when you find the heaven that is within you, then you will find yourself in heaven. Not until then, because heaven and hell are both states of mind. When a person is in a very doubtful and negative state of mind, he's always going to catch hell. But when the individual finds the heaven, the harmony, the God, the good, the love that is resident in his own being, then he begins to experience heaven. We are taught that either God or the devil are responsible for what happens to us. I teach that the individual is responsible for his condition. The responsibility for our lives does not lie with some deity in the sky, but it lies with the God power within each one of us. There's people walking around out here that are soulless avatars simply operating on matrix programming. They're living, but they're not alive. And they're all around us. They're all over the place. People that have never woken up to who they truly actually are. They simply are operating on the code that they've been programmed and given since they were born, since they were even in the womb and in ge at gestation. The same code, just running on programming, never exceeding the programming, never reprogramming the programming, never editing it, never hacking themselves just running on the pure code and living a complete lie, believing that they're alive, but they're not. Too many times we get the information, like the information I'm giving to you, to you tonight, and then we just keep on scrolling, we keep on moving on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Sit down and meditate on it for a second. Let the knowledge seep in. Stay in the present moment. Let, it, let your mind start to vibrate and get on the frequency of understanding. Let your mind begin to ask more questions so you can seek more answers. How do you get God within you? God is within each individual, period. Well, where do you God get... has never been outside of the individual or something apart from the individual. Well, where this do you is what place... I, this, is, this is the way I see spirit. Let's call it spirit. And I am God appearing as me. You are God appearing as you. No, I am not God appearing as me. And but I this am is the, the discovery. Of God. This is the discovery that I try to bring each person to of the God within. Okay, you could make her feel a lot better if you would say there is a heaven and a reward that God has prepared for her. <laughs> no, most, you know what? They don't want it now. They want to die and get it later. Yeah, that's right. That's the real hang-up. Right. Well, isn't that all right? <laughs> what really bothers me is what happens to an undesirable person who has his heaven on earth by hurting other people. Isn't God just? Where he's going to make it all even somewhere. Be sometime. not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. In my philosophy, I teach the individual to be right with himself first, to be honest with himself. If a person is right and honest with himself, he will be right and honest with everyone else. And this is what I strive to be and to do.